already going to have my my seat belt on because we just came out of our air brakes test, okay? So my seat belt would already be on, so I'm not going to go over that again, okay? But I'm going to start off with my mirrors. I got my left mirror and my right mirror. I'm going to make sure that they're both adjusted to me as a driver and that I can at least see some part of my trailer in both of my mirrors. Then I'll make sure that they're not cracked or broken and they're properly mounted and secure. Then I'll come up to my windshield, okay? I'm going to make sure that my windshield is clear and clean. It doesn't have any illegal stickers on it and it's not cracked or broken and it's properly mounted and secure. As well as the weather stripping on my windshield, I'll make sure that my weather stripping is in good condition, not dry rotted or missing any pieces. So uh, no water leaks into the truck or any fumes from the engine. Then I'm going to do my windshield wipers, okay? I'm going to make sure that my windshield wipers are up flush against my windshield and that the rubber is in good condition, not dry rotted or missing any pieces, okay? Then I'm going to come down and I'm going to check my heater and my defroster and make sure that my heater and my defroster are both working, okay? Then I'm going to come and check my headlights. I'm going to make sure that my low beams and my high beams are both working, okay? And from there, I'm going to check my left blinker, I'm going to check my right blinker, then I'm going to check my four ways, okay, making sure they're all working, okay, now I covered that. Now I'm going to come up and I'm going to check my oil pressure gauge, okay, under normal operating conditions, my, my oil temperature gauge should be between 20 and 60 PSI, right below that I have my temperature gauge. Under normal operating conditions, it should be between 170 and 180 degrees, okay? Then right in the center here, I have my voltage meter. Uh, under normal operating conditions, it should be between 12 and 14 volts, okay? Right next, right next to my voltage meter, if we were to shut the truck off and turn it back on, our ABS indicator would come on and go off within seconds of starting the vehicle, okay? And then one more time, I would like to tell you that uh, my primary gauge and my secondary gauge, and at no given time should they ever exceed 140 PSI, okay? Then I'm going to come up and I'm going to check my steering wheel. I'm going to make sure that there's no more than 2 inches of play on a 20 inch steering wheel, okay? And then I'm going to check my city horn, and then I'm going to check my air horn. And that completes my in-cab inspection, okay?